to everyone who has, who has killed themselves before. I don't forgive you. To everyone who will wrestle with that decision and lose, I won't forgive you. Not because I pity you or your lack of self-control, I don't have any of that either. I won't forgive you because there's an old man that lives downstairs. He reads a newspaper every morning and he cries every time he reads about you. He curls up in a ball, tears stream streaming down his cheeks, asking the same question over and over again. Why? 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 We've all had that fantasy. But we're lying somewhere lifeless as a friend or a close relative tries to resuscitate us. Finally, they understand what your value was. Finally, they see how miserable they'd be without you. You managed to kill them from the inside and it feels great. That's where the word suicide comes in. It's like murder, but with twice the body count. It's one of the most comfortable things to think about. But those are just thoughts, right? Those are just ideas we use to cope with our misery. Yes, well, they are thoughts, but no thought is just a thought. And the entire world changes on the smallest of ideas. Ideas are always huge. And when a thought like that repeats itself time and again, when you've lost so much you can't bear to see yourself cry anymore, when the world is falling apart and the only thing your brain can tell you is just end it, that's the only way to get better. You can only do one of two things. Make that thought a reality or wait till it becomes one. And, well, when you have the chance to do it, when you have that pill in your hand, when you're behind the wheel, why let nature take its course? When you're too damaged to be ever healed, why not just take it and be relieved? Why not just pull the trigger? Of course it'll get better, right? To all those that have failed to wait before, I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you because you're selfish. Because you didn't end your sadness, you just gave it to that weak old man. That weak old man who takes the pain of you and a hundred others and still makes it through the day. That weak old man who's cried ever since he knew what feelings were. You hurt that man and I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you for leaving the world a much worse place than when you found it. I don't care how bad it was for you, you did not make it better, sir. And that old man, when every time one of you takes their lives, that old man loses his faith in humanity, little by little. And I know for a fact that there will be a day there won't be any to lose. I know for a fact that one day there won't be any of that man left because he will give up just like the rest of you. He'll join your ranks and I won't forgive him either because that'll be the day a little boy cries and loses his faith in humanity. That'll be the day this little boy cries and loses his faith in humanity, little by little, until he's an old man. Until he gives up as well. Till he ends up bitter and alone, just like all of you. Thanks to you.